Hey guys, Donat here, continuing our auction house series. In the past videos, we have been looking at some exact formulas you can use to look for underpriced items, and you can certainly expect such content regularly in the future as well. This time, however, I would like to do a little brainstorming and hopefully give you a few ideas on how you could look for your own little gems in the auction house. While at this stage you can't really hope to find a secret that is not used by a group of people already, you can most certainly come across something that is not widely known yet, thus works a lot better than previous techniques. Also you should know that even if you do find something really good, it won't last forever. It will become less effective as more people catch up onto you, and also the market is constantly changing, especially if there is a major patch coming out. With this little disclaimer, Let's see the main points you should consider when you decide where to look for those crazy deals. First of all, think about some possible airfixes that the market does not seem to fully understand yet in terms of pricing. This is exactly what brought me originally to flipping with gold find hams. Previously, magic find plus an empty socket was really hot and vastly undervalued on hams, but by the time I did catch up on it, the method was used by too many people already. So what I did was to check out the gold find hams instead, using the very same technique, and it did work out just as fine. Another one could be life regeneration and life on hit. It seems that these values are also ignored by many, thus represent a possibility for flipping. Even attack speed can be considered something like this. Many only seem to remember that it was nerfed to the ground a great while ago, and do not realize how important and valuable this affix still is. The same idea is behind legendary hunting, when we are looking for underpriced top-notch gear, knowing that not everyone is aware of what value would make that specific item really valuable, and how much it means in terms of price, should that value be maxed out on that item. Once you know what to focus on, think about the item type that can have the most of this specific value. Ranges can greatly differ. Sticking with the gold fight percentage, most item types cap out at 25%. Now amulets can have 50%, while hams can have 56% together with a perfect gem. No wonder then that, apart from these two items, gold 5% is not that sought after. Or better to say, you have to have a really great item to start with, so gold find percentage adds to a lot of its value on top. You might also want to check out the legendary and set items as well, as these can have also large amounts of that specific value that could not even be on the same item type otherwise. From a different perspective, you should also consider item types that have either a lot more or much less from certain values than it is usual on most item types. This is important as it can confuse people when they would like to sell. They either flat out underprice their stuff or they overdo it vastly, and then discount too much when they just don't seem to be able to sell time after time. A great example for these are amulets, that can have a ton of more stats and affixes, and rings that cap out much lower than other armor parts. Taking an extreme example, the same values that are absolutely worthless on amulets can be real monsters on a ring. Rings are also a great example of something else you should look for. If a certain item can have some special affixes that are not available on most other item types, they might not value it to its full value as they are not used to it. Life percentage can be a good idea. Add it to a good belt and it can raise its value by several millions. A strong life regeneration can do the same as well in some cases. Attack speed on rings is similar in this regard as well. If several rare or important values come together, they also might not realize how valuable those are together. For example, if I say 6% attack speed, or 3% crit chance, or let's say 20% crit damage, you are not getting overly excited, are you? However, should I put this all on one ring, without any extra stats, you are looking at an item worth 1.5 million these days. Next thing you should consider is how sought after the item type is. Weapons, amulets and rings are in high demand, so there are tons of items posted and bought all the time. This is because it's really difficult to get one that you could not upgrade easily further. They are also great ways to increase your damage, and there is just no such thing as too much damage. All of these items can also be placed on your followers, so you need even more of them. The reason why this is important is because the more items enter the market, the better your chances are finding good deals, while the higher the demand is, the easier it is to sell your items. 
it is really easy to just sit there and refresh the newly posted weapons and rings, for example, but you could not really do that on most other armor parts. I hope these little points will get you thinking about some new possibilities and that you will find your pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Don't worry, however, if you do not want to spend your time with this, as I will post new exact formulas regularly in the future as well. Right in the next video, a bit later this week, I will return to my favorite rings and have a deeper look at them. The farming guide for Act 2 is slowly coming together as well, so some fun stuff is ahead of us once again. If you want to have more gold-making formulas, you know where that subscribe button is, and I hope to see you soon in a few days then.